Hi, and welcome back to Ask Dr. Chips. I'm Dr. Timothy Chips from Chips Dental Associates. And we're continuing our video blog here. And our next question is, why does my dentist take x-rays? So uh, dental x-rays are just like any other x-ray. They allow us to see things that are beneath the surface. They're completely invisible to the naked eye. Um, we use them for a variety of different purposes. Uh, it helps us to diagnose not only dental decay, but infections. And some of our x-rays even allow us to see some systemic disease that can occur. We take a panoramic film, which shows us all of your teeth all in one shot, along with some of the surrounding structures, the sinuses, the jaw bones, and um, even uh, some of the uh, nasal passages and things like that. So they're all visible and allows us to take a look at all of that and assess whether there is any disease present and whether there's an, it's important for us to take a look elsewhere. Now, another concern is that, yes, there is uh, radiation that you're receiving as a result of dental x-rays. And now there is even um, something put in the news a few years back about the risks associated with dental x-rays. Now, the ADA and the US FDA both recommend as little as possible or as low as reasonably achievable is the exact phrase I've seen them use. Um, we do quite a bit to help ensure that we have minimal X radiation that you're receiving as our patients. We even look at you on an individual basis. Sometimes people have a low risk of decay. They have no problems in their mouth. And we can just say, you know, your frequency doesn't need to be once every year or whatever it is. But for the most part, we try to keep things regular because the most common outcome of failing to take dental radiographs or x-rays is the advancement of dental disease. And more often than not, we see bigger ca cavities getting bigger as a result of skipping your, your x-rays on a regular basis. Now, we don't prescribe them regularly as that would sound. It's more based on our assessment of the risks of the patient. Um, Many times we also use them as a baseline to compare what things look like from year to year. Um, we use something called a progressive mount and so that we can look at, uh, let's say every year we have been taking uh, x-rays for cavity detection. And so we can look at them from year to year. We have some of them dating back for, you know, seven, eight, 10, 15 years sometimes. And we can look through those and see what's changed if something is different. Um, and that's very helpful sometimes in helping you to detect a problem is that something is different from the last set of films. So um, we also, we've switched over recently to a digital x-ray, which I, I think is fairly commonplace now, but um, that does help us to reduce the amount of radiation that's needed to achieve a, a film that we can read. Um, and our panoramic films, while they are still a film x-ray in our office right now, um, they also, typically utilize less X radiation. So they're, they're very safe as well. And we take them less, less frequently um, so that we're, we're not exposing you frequently that way. In fact, we actually have a patient who spoke about us and his experience with regards to X radiation and our use of it in the practice. He had been a cancer patient, head and neck cancer patient, and was concerned about the amount of radiation he was receiving. And so we were able to work with him to make sure that not only was he comfortable, but we were also doing the right thing to ensure that he had the minimal amount of exposure. And you can even see his story on our website. So that is a good example for you of how we utilize X radiation to help maintain and treat the oral cavity and, and, and treat your oral health without overexposing you to anything harmful. Um, and with all aspects, we always take every individual into account so that we can really determine the best way of treating for you. So make an appointment today so that we can go over your x-rays and see how they can play into helping us improve your oral health. Thanks again. This is Dr. Timothy Chips.